Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait. You know what? You're making it happen, man. Keep it up. You can do this. You can do this. You're doing a good job. And it's going to pay off more than you even know. Disclaimer. Just because we do it doesn't mean you should. What's up? We're back and uh, going to be working on these engine baffle boxes, air box baffles, air boxes for the cooling of these cylinder heads. And uh, I'm just uh, looking forward to just getting started on this, getting this out of the way. This has kind of been hanging over my head because it just looked really complicated and just a big, like a big pain. But I think I understand it now. Uh, I think I understand what needs to be done, and especially after watching the Home Built Help um, series uh, for the for the UL Power uh, like firewall forward stuff, um, that was a big big help because I mean, yeah, because these um, photo assembly guides they're uh, well it'd be super confusing if it wasn't for the photos, but then this last part on the right. No, on the left side baffle, I didn't understand it all until I watched the, the Home Build Help DVD, and now that makes sense. And uh, so it, it seems like it should actually be pretty simple, since um, a lot of this is actually cut out, and we're, we don't really have to cut out any complex shapes or anything like that. And by the way, just in case you're totally like, what is he talking about? Which I guess you shouldn't be, because if you're watching this, you probably would know, but these boxes are basically going to go on here in front or you know open at the front to uh, force the air to go over the cylinder heads and not just kind of all over the place so that's what these are for and then we're going to be attaching like uh, rubber baffling to the top and stuff to get a good seal okay let's continue or actually let's get started let's see the first thing I want to do Oh, it's so easy to get into a rush when I'm filming because I feel like, ah, oh, the clock is ticking. The clock is ticking. The cameras are rolling. The seconds are going by. But, uh, it really doesn't matter because with the magical power of editing, I could just be like, boom, and it's done. But I'm not going to do that. Okay, anyway. Let's see. I'm just going to Clico. I'm going to Clico this so that it stays together. And one of these, the left side is longer than the right side because the uh, the way the cylinders are offset. Okay, so let's just, I'll tell you what, let's just get a good look at these before I do anything with them. So it looks like that. Yeah. It'd be a lot more helpful if there were like twice as many photos in this photo assembly guide. Aha! Okay, so this is interesting. Now, as far as the photo assembly guide, and I know that these are like not official instructions from Zenith because, you know, legal junk. But um, the thing, the problem with these is that this one was revised in 2012. So. You know, there's bound to be some changes between now and then. Um, like, for example, um, and I realize it sounds, it sounds like I'm like complaining a lot. I'm using a super whiny tone. Oh, but that's just kind of how I feel today. Um, anyway, this, so it looks like both of these, uh, which shouldn't be too big of a problem, both of these ha actually have these extra bends in them, whereas here it looks like and I think in the Home Build Help DVD, back end of this le uh, right hand side one, it looks like it's square, but uh, the left side should have the bend, which is, it does, but these both have bends. So that's something different. I just need to make sure that these directions are correct. I'm pretty sure this is basically exactly what they do in the Home Built Help DVD, but it makes more sense in the DVD because you can see it three dimensionally. I just want to. I just want to make sure you can kind of get an idea of what the air boxes look like, like this. So 
So you can see the the left hand side from the pilot's view is going to be a few inches longer than the right hand side from the pilot's view because we're looking at it from the front of the airplane. Okay, dokey. I think we're ready to go. We'll just start with we'll start with the right hand side because um, that's what they do in uh, in this one <clears throat> in this uh, little photo assembly guide thing. So that way we can kind of keep up on this. See now. Um, well, whatever. I'm just going to shut up and uh, actually start working on this. Oh, man. But I had a bunch of coffee, so that's kind of hard to do. All right, I'm going to need a uh, millimeter metric ruler. I'm going to need my square edge thing. And I'm going to get a speed square. Ooh. You ever noticed how when you, you watch a TV show a bunch and then like you start talking like the characters on the TV show? Or produced by Netflix, but it's uh, in in Danish. I mean, they speak Danish. Oh shoot, I don't know. Probably Sweden. I'm getting so sidetracked right here. But I'm so glad to be making more progress on this because uh, sometimes you just got to make that progress. Ooh, now there's a burr right there. I'm just gonna go ahead and file down this little this little notch before it catches me and kills me. Let me get my files. Pretty soon, I think I'm gonna do a, a, a video or several videos about tools. The tool time, Terry tool time. We'll talk about tools because uh, I think there's a lot of misconceptions about tools, about what you need and what you don't need. Not that I, you know, know everything, but I've got my perspectives on it. And uh, I think a lot of times people downplay the tools that you need because you're gonna need a crap ton of tools. Um, and then some tools are there just for to make it you know, make life easier. But again, I'm getting sidetracked. That's pretty cool. All right, let me just, uh, okay. I might have to do a bunch of editing in this video. <laughs> oh dear me. I pity myself later sitting at the computer. Yeah, but you know what? You're making it happen, man. Keep it up. You can do this. You can do this. You're doing a good job and it's gonna pay off more than you even know. Okay, all right, now that prophetic words have been spoken, we, now that I have all of my, uh, I think I have all the tools I need, we can get start getting to work on this baby. All right, so they're saying position the blah, blah, blah. I don't know why they would want me to necessarily put it on there, because like, there's, I'm pretty sure, you know, you can do everything you need to do before this thing even gets on the, on the on the engine but I don't know whatever man I'm right here we're gonna go 23 mil mils and uh, let's see here so right about there 23 that's very specific one two three one two three perfect so perfect so 120 up from the step. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my handy dandy square. I could probably use a speed square actually. And uh, come on, little fella. Let's... This this guy for drawing the lines, the straight uh, lines, just like that. And then I'm just going to get my metric ruler to actually measure it out and we want 120 120 so from right about there one twenty. okay super cool and then uh, mark a point 210 millimeters up from the bottom of the air box so Two hundred and ten. Boom. Uh, two ten. I use a straight edge to connect the two ten to the one twenty. Okay. Ah. Let's use. Let's use something a little bit with a little bit more rigidity. Hey, hey look at this. This is N one four. I'll be seeing you later. So let's connect these two points. Ta-da! 
Yay. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Mark a line square to the bend edge on the back at the 210 millimeter mark. See, I, I just, I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy, but that seems really confusing to me. I think what they're saying is right here, make a, make a mark. Dude, I got to get it just past that point right there. There we go. So right there. That looks right about on to me. That looks pretty darn straight. Okay. And uh, they say in the center of the 225 millimeter up from the left. Okay, so they say the center, but really, I mean, it's not actually going to be the center. I think it's going to actually be 70 millimeters because that's what it is on the other side. So let's see if 70 millimeters is uh, correct. It should be right about, I think, the center of the circle. And that looks to be about correct. So 70 millimeters from this edge, as good as we can get it right there. There we go. And then, um, and so that's gonna be, and then from there, assuming this edge is parallel or perpendicular to each other, uh, we're gonna use this and I'm just going to draw a straight line, straight up, everything super duper straight, 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 straight. Okay, and then going to measure out 25 millimeters. Approximate, I mean, you know, as exact as we can get it. 25 mil mils right there. Okay. Excellent. Okay, so we've got that 25 millimeter mark. So we'll just do a little 25, a little arrow, just for you viewers out there, give you some visuals there. And then this right here, from this point to this point, is 70. 70 millimeters right there. And then, oh, how did they do that? And then I think we're just going to continue this across. See, that's the that's the thing. This is, that's kind of where I have to improvise on this side. I gotta or transpose it from the other side. I'm gonna start a new video.